Welcome back, everybody. You can see <laughs> my remains of my logging catastrophe down there. And fortunately, I had some problems recording where, you know, I use OBS in OBS Studio, technically it's called, and it's great, but I, I, I was fiddling with the setting and basically I wasn't recording what I thought I was. And well, I was, it was just recording a black screen instead of the actual game. So <laughs> that happens when I switch back and forth to tutorials. I basically have to change it from display mode to, to window mode anyway. That doesn't matter. What does matter is I just had a horrible time down there. My brilliant idea of trying to put logs onto a flat bale trailer and sell them did not <laughs> work. It failed spectacularly. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're not going to do that anymore. Basically, I think I will just fast forward until we are able to... Uh, let's... I'm going to fast forward until I'm able to buy cows, which we can actually check the price right now. The last time I checked, it was around 5,200 still. We need that below 5,000. It should hit pretty soon here. It is mid-winter, so you haven't missed a lot of time. It's really only one snow day and then a few days in between. I can't remember what day it was last when... I left you guys, but it's basically just snowed. Not a lot changed on the farm other than I unloaded the bale trailer because <laughs> I thought I was going to use it for logs. So that was the plan for this episode. I was going to have a little logging adventure, but <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. So, you know, I, I scooped out a little bit of snow here. Uh, but other than that, it's, you know, I, I didn't really do a lot of chores around the farm, so you really didn't miss anything. There's not that much left to do until winter. You know, we have, let's see, uh, maybe we should get my, uh, we'll just run back down there. My brother's still down there. I'll run back down there and I'll talk along the way. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I just want to remark on one thing real quick as you look at how amazing, let's run across one of our fields. Look out here at how amazing Seasons is with this map. This is probably the best rendition of Seasons on a map that I have ever experienced. It's amazing. It feels cold. I have my cup of coffee actually here with me. And pardon me while I take a sip. That's uh, not a joke. It, <laughs> it actually is right next to me. It, I felt cold when I started this episode up. It feels cold. You can feel... I mean, look at that. It just feels like that's the cold winter sunlight out here that doesn't, you know, it brings a little bit of uh, sun, but not that much. And so we're going to close this fence. I made one trip in with like two logs on the trailer and it just, <laughs> that was the route. So just so you know why I also am not too worried about, you know, that was the route where I probably wasn't planning on showing that because that was when I was actually recording the course play course to the wood cell point. And then, you know, I was going to say, okay, my brother's on the way now and we're going to watch him drive off with a pile full of wood. You know, I was hoping to get like at least four or five logs on there. But basically, you know, I mean, even four or five logs would have been okay. But really, it's like one or two and then something to do with the collisions on the bale trailer or the wonky logging physics that still aren't perfect, but like one log was going halfway through the trailer, like through the metal, through the middle of the trailer. It like went straight through the trailer to the ground. So it just, it looked horrible. And you know, if it was just one or two logs or maybe even three or four on a trailer, I think I could handle that. But when the physics don't even work correctly, it just looks too ugly to continue. So I, the, the bottom line is I don't want to spend any more money. I mean, if you look at forestry, you know, we don't have that much time in the winter. If we didn't have animals, I think forestry would be a great way to make it through the winter. But we do have animals. And that's, you know, so we only spent 4500 on this. And we spent uh, a few thousand on a logging fork for the telehandler. But if you look at, you know, it's $24,000. That's, uh, that's like five cows. I mean, we, we can't afford. And then, you know, a chipper, there's no way. You know, 54000 for that. I mean, it... It's just not feasible for our farm right now. Maybe in the future we can diversify a little bit. But this thing's actually pretty cool if you can't turn on. Let's see. I think we have the... Yeah, okay. This thing is actually pretty cool. You can actually tow. Let's wait for our tractor to turn on. Okay. 
you can't actually tow with that trailer. It's actually pretty cool. We'll uh, hook up to this other bale trailer here, and we'll have my brother follow us home. He's over there. Uh, he's, you can't see him because he's in the forest there taking a leak, so that's, <laughs> that's why you can't see him right now. But you can actually lower this. Uh, whoops, we want to lower while we hook into it. And there we go. So the, yeah, the hoses look a little weird there, but um, we want to raise. Don't want to raise too much. Actually, if we angle it down and raise, I think that'll be what we want. Okay, so my brother is going to, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, this is just not, I don't know if this will work. Can't really make the turn. Okay, there we go. I think maybe if we just... This looks about the right height for it. It's a lot of weight back there, and it's kind of at an improper angle. But we are just going a short distance to the farm. Let's look at our... Yeah, there's a, just a little bit of weight on the front wheels there. As long as we don't take... Well, we have to make a right angle up here, so that'll be kind of hard, but... Probably should have done this with Fritz on this tractor, but this is the tractor we were using for the wench, so we <laughs> just happened to keep it. We'll see if we can't make it up the hill here. We do lose some power because we only have rear wheel drive instead of the four wheel drive. We're not weighted down properly on the front, but let's see if we can't make this turn. Okay. There we go. Let's chug up this hill. Let's get a good look at my favorite view. Okay, well, we're going to have to downshift first. And we're going to have to shift into low. Okay, here we go. If I can get started... Okay, let's go to low one. <laughs> there we go. Now we can look at my favorite view while we have almost no weight on our front tires. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we are chugging up the hill. I can't turn to the left because there's no weight on the back. Come on. You can do it. You know, now is the time. If I had a proper name for this tractor, it would be excellent. But, okay, I think I'm, st what, am I stuck on something now? Yeah, I was stuck on the, the train there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is just, this is just a nightmare. There we go. Are we getting it? I think we're getting it. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. We're just going to have to do this the hard way. All right. We're going to have to just go back and get that later. My brother has gone past us into the house. It looks like he is uh, probably getting a cup of coffee, which uh, <laughs> it sounds pretty good about right now. Mine's pretty cold. I let it, uh, I, I waited too long before I drank it. I love coffee. You know, I, black coffee is the way to go. I don't know. <laughs> the few times I happened to go into Starbucks, you know, I, the, I, I ordered a black coffee and then they asked me if I want cream and sugar in it. And I just, I don't know what to say to them. It's like, why would I want to destroy my coffee? Why would, like, for one, I asked for it black. Like, so what? Why would I put anything other than coffee in my coffee? Because that's just disgusting. And, uh, yeah, so no, no, never cream or sugar. You know, it's amazing how much bitter stuff I like. Like, I, I, I love sugar, which is why I don't understand why I love, you know, you. so you'd think I'd love sugar in my coffee, but I hate it. I love candy. I love all types of things sugar-related, but... When it's coffee, I like it. I, I can't stand it when it's sweet. It's just not good. Actually, we can leave our... Let's just leave the Ford here. No, I take it back. Let's get the... We're going to have to give our cows some... Some uh, forage that we already have mixed. So let's just run up to the mixing wagon and... We'll dump that, and then we'll go get the bale wagon with Fritz there. So actually, let's let's go get Fritz first. I think we'll do that first. Let's just back in here first. 
keep saying what I'm going to do first, and then I do something else. Okay, here we go. Let's hit that off, and let's go grab Fritzy. Oh, we didn't even leave it running. All right. Bye, brother. Okay, here we go to get our trailer. And yeah, this was just... I can't believe what a nightmare this was. I thought I could at least make a few bucks with logs, but it was just not good. It was not a good thing. I'm glad you guys didn't see it. It was ugly. Oh, by the way, as we look at this amazing view one more time, you guys should really get on Mod Hub and vote five stars for Bullet Bill West Coast map again. You know, I there was a there was a new release map, Stoppenbach or however it's pronounced, and it it was a good map. Don't get me wrong, but it's like at a it's like at a 4.6, and I don't see how. I, I don't know. I, if there's not any trolls out there downvoting this map purposely because out of spite or they're jealous of Bulletville or, you know, I, I know Bulletville had a run-in with uh, someone later because, you know, that YouTuber was telling Bulletville to... Or that, that YouTuber was telling his viewers, like, you're free to do whatever with mods, you know. And basically he was telling people wrong that they could infringe on a copyright because... When you upload a map to Giants, it's Giants and yours. It is not everybody's. So you, you can't just download a mod and then slightly edit it and share it without permission. That's a violation of, what is that, Creative Commons? It's a violation of something. It's violating your, your terms with Giants, I believe. Uh, they do not give you permission to do that. Giants can do that if they want, but you are not Giants. And, you know, it's yours and it's Giants if you upload a mod to Giants. Anyway... So I don't know if there's still bitterness there and he's secretly telling his viewers to downvote mods. I'm not sure what is going on there, but I do know that I, I don't understand how this map is rated as a 4.1 if that one's at a 4.6. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't have the great views that this map has. So if you don't care about views and you like other features like, uh, you know, production maps or whatever again that's your own prerogative but i don't see how you could rate this map down like even if you don't like playing it even if you don't like this style i don't understand how a map this beautiful is so much lower than stop and back and you know whether it's a 4.1 or 4.6 doesn't really matter but when it's a four that is in danger of falling below four which i believe cuts it cuts out a 50 percent bonus or something on the income and you know, then it's not a huge amount of income, but it's nice. It's it's well deserved. And if Giants is going to give money to modders for that, it'd be nice if it was fair and it went, you know, equally proportioned based on skill and time spent on a mod. So I think that that's only fair. Bullet Bill gets his 50% bonus. So anyway, long story short, nothing wrong with the Stop and Bach map. There's definitely nothing wrong with this map. If that map is. A 4.6, I don't see why this map is not an equal rating. So vote this five stars. You can also go onto your iPhone and uh, go to airplane mode and turn airplane off. And when it reconnects, it'll give you a different IP address. And so you can vote again. So <laughs> that's what I did about 30 or 40 times. But unfortunately, it only takes one five or one. It takes one one, you know, to cancel out. What is that? Five fives, four fives. I don't know. You do the math on that. Anyway, the, the waiting system, just vote. Just vote at five stars. That's all I'll say on that. Okay, let's get going here. Attach everything and... Okay, so we need to get a little bit closer. And this does have the thing where you can load it from both sides, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Let's slow down a little bit, though. We've got to balance it out. Here we go. While we are... Let's run the run out a little bit. Let's look at our animals. We have... Um, oh, yeah. So, Mona Leisha told me... Um, you know what? I didn't ever understand how... Well, I was confused about this. I'll just read his response. That's easy. So, he says... 
If you feed TMR, it goes towards power food and silage in equal parts or some ratio, but I think equal parts. So it fills up both sliders right there. But if you, um, since seasons is depending on the time of the year, it changes this consumption based on the time of the year. And so um, the need based on how much you can fill it is enough for three days changes. And so therefore, you know, there's times when you need to add silage and then there's times when silage is full above the maximum and you don't need to add silage. And so basically that's why I was confused because these change randomly or well, not randomly, but it seemed like random. It seemed like they were never equal. So that is why I never quite understood what was going on there. And it looks like we, oh, are you kidding me? We have 135 <laughs> left. Okay, so that's basically nothing. We're just going to pretend that that didn't happen. We're going to take this on out of the shed here. And let's go park it in case it snows tomorrow. Let's make that turn. There we go. And let's just back it on in right there. And we can pull it out again later when we need to. Let's just pull forward here and get our backing on. Make sure we don't want to hit. Yeah, we're clear up there. And can't quite turn it. I wanted to park it along the other wall, but our turning radius wasn't quite good enough. But this is just fine. We're going to have to pull it out of here when we make feed anyway. So, And are we going to need... This tractor, again, I can't remember. But we'll just unhook for now and pull forward just a little bit. And there we go. So you can see, if you remember, when I showed you the Snowmass tutorial, I made... Well, you know what? Here, let's just run over to the other shed where the other trailer was. I, I just want to call out something specific. And so if you are following my tutorial and you know how to edit the snow mask, you've set it up so you can edit and change the snow mask on buildings. I wanted to point out something because over here, I kind of made it a little bit not perfect, right? So it kind of looks like the snow was blown in there underneath the edges of the shed. And that's, you know, it, it makes it look a little bit more organic as opposed to if you do exactly underneath the building, you're going to get something like, you know, it's fine like on a building like that because snow doesn't get inside and it, you know, doesn't blow up right next to the building. So that's fine. But on buildings like this, you know, it, you you have this perfect line where the snow falls and doesn't fall. That just looks inorganic. And over here, I kind of did the same thing. But over here, this is how it looks default. So that's not a knock on bullet bill, of course, because, you know, for snow, it's visual. You can see. But if this was raining, you would want to know where you could put bales and where you couldn't put bales for the rain protection. So it only makes sense to make it perfectly smooth like this so that you don't have people complaining about the bale being, uh, you know, snowed on when or, you know, the bale being rotten and going away when it does um, when, when it is underneath a cover. Anyway, I just wanted to make that remark. You can feel free to make those edits yourself so it doesn't just look like a perfect smooth line. Uh, you know, that just doesn't look organic. Anyway, you can ch make those changes if you are editing your own map with that tutorial that I showed you. I still... Well, <laughs> I'm just running around the farm like a madman. I am still working on a... Object too heavy. Where is the lights for that? Oh. I guess those are the lights. Why did it say object too heavy? That's weird. Okay, well, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. We have... <laughs> I was, uh, was going to say while I was running around the farm like a man that I am still working on an animal tutorial on how to move animal zones. And just, it's just... It's so complicated. It takes so much out of me to do those tutorials. I think that that tutorial is going to have to wait till I get back from the farm. Uh, and if you are just now, if I didn't already say it, I am heading to the farm on basically Tuesday. So I think it did talk about that a little bit earlier this episode. So I, uh, sorry, I'm just running around, not doing anything. What are we going to do? Actually, let's check on cow prices because I think that, nope, 40, well, so we could buy, I think, I think it'll get a little bit less than that. I think if we wait till the other stage of winter late winter it gets even cheaper than that but we could possibly make one run and set up the course play track so that way i could you know role play and say my brother was doing it later so maybe 
Maybe we'll do that later this episode. But for now, the cows actually need hay slash grass and water. So we are going to, and can they be cleaned? Yes, they can be cleaned. So let's run. Let's see, where's the water trailer? Did I leave the water trailer? Right there. <laughs> okay, let's clean up the cows first, I think. And then we'll run and get the water trailer. And I forget, is this the water trough? No, this is the feeding trough. So we can, let's see, the feeding... Yeah, this is water. Okay, I always forget that. Okay, let's run and get... Hey, Bessie. No, Bessie's our combine. Let's run and... Ooh, can that open? Oh, that's... Oh, no, no, stop it. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm sorry, Heidi. Okay, let's... Let's get Heidi and her wounded self out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi. <laughs> I didn't mean to... Okay, and let's just... Oh, we really need a pressure washer. Where are we going to get a pressure washer from? I mean, we we'll get it from the store, but where are we going to put a pressure washer? You know, maybe that could be the pole. <laughs> Since I'm kind of out of things to make a pole on. Let's make a pole on where to put the pressure washer. So, the... <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the board pull, but a pull is better than no pull, right? Okay, so let's get in here, lower, and start picking up some cleanliness stuff. All right, I think that... How did we do? Oh, wait, we did pretty good. Just uh, one more spot to miss. So the places that we can put a pressure washer, we really need one. I have not cleaned out anything from the fall. So let's dump in there. Careful not to hit things. Okay. And nope. Don't want to go backwards. Want to go forwards. And let's grab the water tank with Heidi here. Okay. There we go. And let's switch to an external view here to give us a little bit perspective, a little bit of a better look at the winter. And okay, well, but now backing is always a problem, so we're going to switch back to inside. And I think that that is just about good right there. We're going to have to switch to V1. So let's do that now, and there we go. How much water do we have? We got plenty of water, so let's get this delivered. I guess we could go in the back way, but that's what, that'd be opening up two gates. So let's just, yeah, let's head in this way. And can't quite, there we go. We're chugging up the hill. We turned the corner. Okay, I don't want this gate to... This gate does open, I think, that way. So, I would have been fine pulling up a little bit closer. Yep. Okay. Oh, well. Sometimes you never know. Better safe than sorry. Don't want to... Heidi's already been through enough trauma with the gate opening up on her once today. So, we don't want to do that again. Let's head over to this side and avoid scooping out a cow. And is this the one where we want to... I think I did this wrong. Yep. We really need to have the trigger on the other side. So we got to do a big U-turn here. Let's... I don't think we need to back up. Let's just make a nice wide turn here. There we go. Voids. No, you had to move. Why do you move? It's like they waited for the right moment, and then they jumped right in front of the tractor. <laughs> Come on, cows. Okay, we are looking for... I might actually have to back up here to turn it in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we should change the lower gear using too much clutch. There we go. Got the water trailer. Okay, let's uh, switch to V1. This water trailer actually... What the? Get off my tractor. Get, <laughs> oh, man. I wish... 
<sighs> you know, having all these water trailers and stuff inside the tank is great, but then... Oh, what? Now I'm stuck on a cow? <laughs> Come on. Okay, let's go to M. What the? Oh, come on. What am I stuck on? Alright, I guess I just needed more momentum. Alright, let's avoid cows this time. What do you say, guys? Look at that view. Wow. That's just something else. I am so glad we started up here on Mountain View Farm. There are so many good views. All right, let's get out. Let's close the gate. We're gonna be really good at closing gates this time on this map. I know I forgot them a lot on Libatu Monday, but we're gonna remember. That's what we're gonna do. And speaking of which, I just remember now that that side gate that I opened for Heidi, well, onto Heidi, I think I accidentally forgot. Hold on. I think I left it open. So let's go close that now, just as I said it. Or did I close it? I closed it! Guys, I closed the gate. I normally forget those things. Okay, here we go. Let's go park this, and then we're going to feed just a couple bales, and I think that'll be about an episode for now. It's a little short one. Didn't get a lot accomplished, really, since the wood was a huge <laughs> embarrassing failure, and that was half the episode, you know, returning from the, from the wood failure. So, you know, maybe next year I will... I don't know, maybe that's something I should take a vote on. Next year, if I have more money, maybe I'll throw up a vote where, you know, see if you guys want me to spend more time out there in the forest. And if I have the money, obviously, I'd, I'd be doing something like a wood chipper. So we could have a, a wood chipping operation going. Or, instead, I could just skip the winter and go straight to spring again and, you know, spend all the extra money on cows, which is what I would probably want to do. So maybe I won't put that up for vote. Anyway, I don't know. We'll see about that. Okay, so for now, let's just park Heidi inside here. Yeah. Let's go back inside the cab. Let's hit the brakes. And here we go. I think that... Whoops, wrong button. For now, let's... Try to scrape up that just so we get it to 100%. I don't think I had... Nope, maybe that's not really there. Or the bucket wasn't down. Yep, that's what it was. The bucket was not down low enough, but it was only six, so it's not like that was that much. Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's back it up a little bit so we... Start at the beginning of our run, ready to clean in the future. All right, based on the based on the fill levels of the others, I think that I need maybe two bales of straw. Let's try two bales of straw. I don't want to. I don't want to give three. Oh, maybe I could try three. I don't know. Let's try. Man, look at the turning radius on this thing. I love this thing. This is awesome. I'm so glad we got a telehandler, guys. I can't remember how many times I have said, look at the turning radius on this thing, but it's awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's get down, and I guess we'll... Whoa, didn't mean to take the whole stack there. No, 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 no. There we go. I think we saved it. Quick thinking, quick reaction times. That doesn't normally happen with me. All right, let's get going here. I think this is a little bit easier to just drive backwards with the big stack. With our turning radius, we should be able to turn in there no problem. 
Although we will maybe have to lower just a little bit. And we are good to go. We could use to scrape out the manure just a little bit, it looks like. And let's see how the... Let's see how many bales it takes. Only one bale? I guess only one bale. All right. I guess the proportions are a little bit different. So, you know what? We can just leave... Let's leave this in here. I don't think... The next time we'll probably need it, we'll just feed it another bale. So we can uh, maybe just dump the bales back here. There we go. That is what I wanted. So now we are undercover. We got the bales there ready to drop. And can we get out? We can. Okay, so we will save on manure. I don't think we need to clean up the manure there. It's not that much. Oh, actually, that is a, quite a bit of manure. But we did... We'll wait until the straw goes down a little bit, and then we'll clean up the manure before we... Yeah, right now, it looks like I added way too much straw, so we don't want to get rid of all that straw. We'll wait until we cover up the manure, or until the straw goes away and the manure is uncovered, rather. All right, guys, I think that just about does it for this episode as we look out there into the amazing view. When you next see us, we will be buying some cows in the winter and taking care of animals. Probably I'll show that one more time and then, you know, I probably won't show that again until summer just because, I mean, <laughs> summer. Yeah, we're not going to skip all the spring. Anyway. That's the plan, I think. So the login was a failure, but like I said, we might be able to do more of that next year. I think my idea would have worked if the physics would have been better in the game. But, you know, the log just stuck halfway through the bale trailer. I can't operate like that. It just doesn't feel real. So anyway, that's about the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe and give me a thumb up if you haven't. It really does help me out, those thumbs and the comments. Any type of engagement really helps. I've actually even read that thumbs down <laughs> helps promote videos to other viewers. So because it's all treated as engagement to YouTube. But <laughs> I, I would much prefer a thumb up than a thumb down. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Hopefully it's not as cold as out here on the West Coast. Until next time, see you guys. Bye.